Okay, we've got an LC300 here today and we're just gonna talk about rake and what it does. The idea of rake is basically to ensure that the back of the vehicle is higher than the front of the vehicle, mainly so that when cargo is put in the vehicle, that we're not running a sort of tail down attitude. We want the vehicle sitting almost dead level when it's at full capacity. Now that's not to be confused with the gap between the top of the tire and the guard. Same on the rear as well. So this is not considered rake. Um, the rake is again from the ground to the underside of the seal. And again, we're looking for about 15 to 20 mil a rake. And that's traditionally what um, most of our suspension kits entail. And we, we tend to not go with the, again, the, the, the dead flat section of rake, purely based on the fact that it will be tail down when fully loaded. Now that we've covered rake and why we build rake into the vehicle, the importance of rake and why we do it. And a lot of it's gonna come down to the headlight orientation and not wanting the vehicle to have its headlights shining up towards the tops of the trees. The idea is, is that again, when you're at full capacity, that the headlight projection angle is out towards the middle of the road, not upwards because of the incorrect rake. Now another byproduct of not having the correct amount of rake would be seeing the decrease of caster. So we know that when fitting a set of upper control arms, um, you're able to increase that caster angle. And we touched on again this earlier again as well, where we were talking about um, pushing the, the front wheel forward by fitting some aftermarket control arms. And the advantage of that is to increase the caster. The issue with the rake going backwards and the back of the car being uh, lower than the front of the car is again, we've lost that caster rake angle. So in a lot of our cases, what we're looking to do here is to sit the vehicle slightly higher towards the rear by around about that 20 mil mark. <laughs>